The market for super budget notebooks has exploded with Chromebooks and more recently with Windows 10 devices. The HP Pavilion X2 has entered this market as the most affordable 2-in-1 laptop that easily transforms between laptop and tablet mode by way of a 10-inch detachable screen. Let's see if it's worth the £229 for this hybrid 2-in-1 laptop. <music> The design of the HP Pavilion X2 is quite solid. It's made of plastic polycarbonate, so it's durable. The strong magnets hold together the screen from the keyboard, and you can easily hold the screen without the keyboard dropping off in any way because they are just that strong. So it's really easy to detach and reattach through the two uh, hinges that you find at the end of the keyboard. The trackpad is surprisingly spacious, um, it's nothing to write home about, I, I would prefer an external or wireless mouse instead, uh, as a lot of these laptops uh, have the problem with. The keyboard is fine, um, of course with it being a 10 inch the keyboard is a bit smaller but the travel's not too bad and you can kind of write long emails and uh, long word documents absolutely fine with no problem. Rather surprisingly, the HP Pavilion X2 comes with powerful speakers located on the sides of the tablet's 10-inch screen. Tuned by Bang Lolverson, the sound can easily project a song across a room and deliver full-bodied sound without any odd notes of distortion. So it's very good for watching YouTube or media content um, or just catching up with a film. Unfortunately, the 10-inch screen is a little less impressive with a resolution limited to 1280 by 800 so when it comes to streaming Netflix or Amazon Prime TV, um, it can look a bit fuzzy on the display. Then again, you're only paying £229, so what do you expect? The HP Pavilion X2 weighs in at 1.12 kilograms with the keyboard attached, so you can either say it's sturdy uh, or heavy for a 10 inch notebook of that size when you compare it with um, devices like the ASUS Chromebook Flip which weighs in at 890 grams. The Pavilion X2 comes with an Intel Atom quad core processor, 2 gigs of RAM memory and 32 gigs of SSD storage which for a companion device rather than the main device is fine. You can get a 64 gig model and there is a one terabyte hybrid hard drive model as well. But really, for the money, it's fine. The HP Pavilion X2 is not going to be your main gaming machine or productivity laptop. It's really a second companion for your web browsing, your media content, streaming, Netflix, Amazon Prime and occasional catch up of emails uh, and documents. It's one of those where you can kind of throw it to one side or throw it into your rucksack uh, to take to college or work and knowing that you know you've got a spare second companion laptop or two-in-one device to actually work on catch up with homework or work in the office. The battery life comes in at around 7 hours plus, which isn't bad for a £229 2-in-1 budget hybrid laptop. With Windows 10, it's perfect for your media streaming, watching YouTube, Netflix and web browsing and catching up with the odd emails and documents. The downside of the HP Pavilion X2 is the subpar kind of display um, which nowadays you can get full HD displays but again for the money it's not too bad. The design is absolutely fine, it's durable, solid, well made as usual from HP and totally recommend it as, a, as I said a, a companion second device rather than your main device for any kind of productivity work. What do you guys think? Let us know with commenting below, subscribe to our YouTube channel and remember to like our video. Thanks for watching.